Truth or lie, Mr. Bryden, are you coming to the Aylesbury Waterside Theatre on Saturday the 16th of October? That is very much the truth. It couldn't be more true. Fantastic. And for those that, I mean, they've seen you in uh, Gavin and Stacey and the likes and dramas and your panel shows and that, I've been lucky enough to see you many years ago. Um, you actually came to Aylesbury. It was the old Civic Centre and seen you perform. And it's, you're very, well, you're you, but you're very different. When you're on stage and it's your show, you can do whatever you want. And so, yeah, well, I, with this show, Night of Songs and Laughter, it's me and a band, eight piece band, telling the story of my life through funny songs, straight songs, funny stories and what have you. However, um, just the other night we were playing in Brighton on Saturday and there was a moment in that show. So I, I have the, the, you know, the structure of the show, but I can go wherever I want. And, um, I spent quite a while talking to this couple in the audience and imagining things and inventing stuff. And, and that's always, that's great for me because it keeps it fresh. And I think, I think an audience can sense as well when something is being made up on the spot. And there, there's something about that spontaneity, as long as it's funny, that I think audiences like. So yes, I, I, I would agree with you that I, I get to do basically all the stuff that I can do um, when it's my show on the stage. And it must be nice to be able to get out of your lovely office it's lovely there but <laughs> looks like you can do all your voiceovers that's a, that's this a is, this, yeah this is where i do my voiceovers um but uh, i mean it, yes it is it's lovely, it's lovely to get out and you, you sense that you know from me and the band it's that feeling of being suddenly a released and also for the audiences because i've spoken to a few other comedians that are out now and we all say there's a palpable difference. You can sense it that people haven't had this shared experience. So the response is bigger than usual because alongside enjoying the show, regardless of what I do, they're just enjoying that communal experience. Cause that's, you know, this whole thing has just pulled everybody apart. So it's so lovely to get them back together. It's, it's, it's a really special atmosphere. And on the other side as well, Seeing some of the musicals, you know, you you know what it's like. They've done it five days already that week, and they're just phoning it in so they can get off to the next gigs. <laughs> but you are yeah. such a cynic. You some are do. such a some cynic. do. You must admit. But I've noticed since going back to the theatre, it's so fresh. Everyone on stage is so delighted to be out and on stage wow. as well. It's sort of it's been hell for two years, but in a way, it's sort of started everything going again. I think it's it's made every performer really appreciate the platform they have. So for someone like me, if I if I can come to uh, to Aylesbury and if people come to see it, that's a privilege. You know, uh, in Brighton on I was there on Saturday night, and it's a privilege to, to be able to to fill a theatre and and have those people come. And that's what this has done from my side of the equation. You just, I mean, I would, I'm big on gratitude anyway. I'm always big on smelling the roses, but even more so now because it was taken away from me, you know, in a, in a way that none of us thought would ever happen. If you're someone like me, the only reason you think you're not going to be able to tour is you can't sell tickets, right? So as long as you can sell tickets, you think, well, this is something I can always do. And then it wasn't there. And it's a big thing to get your head around. I can't go because we're not allowed to be together so yes as you say there's that just that lovely sense of release to get out there so i think yes i think the the big musicals you mentioned i wouldn't be at all surprised we're going to see hamilton quite soon and we're going to see back to the future and and i bet yeah i bet there is a palpable sense of boom you know people being let out of the traps as it were and the other thing is i mean it's uh... Uh, it's quite sort of obvious that a lot of people are going to bring COVID into the conversation or are you going to not touch it and go, this is COVID free. Let's enjoy ourselves. It's a difficult yeah, one. I don't, I've not really on the ones I've done so far. No, not only I, I say at the end, I tend to say, isn't it love? Thanks for coming out, you know, and isn't it lovely to be all back together and you get a huge cheer. No, I think people really want to put it behind them. You know, I think if we never had to hear the word again, it wouldn't be a day too soon. So that's how I'm approaching it. I'm not really doing jokes about it. No, I, I'm saying, hey, let's try and forget that. You know, I've never been a, a political comedian. I don't talk about the state of the country, about Trump or Johnson or any of these people. I want people to come in 
and just be entertained and forget about the world, you know, for two hours, whatever it is, you know. After saying that, have you stocked up on fuel? Because you need to get to your venues. Well, no, I, you see, I have an electric car. Oh, you're so one of those smug I'm people. one of those smug people who, um, you know, as long as it's within a sort of like 260 mile radius, I can, well, I can go and I could go and recharge, of course. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I am one of those rather smug ones, I'm afraid. A quickie, because I know your time is precious, Mr. Bryden, but the, uh, Stacey, is it happening yes. again? Is there going to be another one? I, I, I'd love to be able to say yes. I don't know. No, there are no plans that I'm aware of. Mind you, I wasn't aware last time. When, when they, with that Christmas special, James phoned me up, James Gordon, and said, hi, hi, Bobby, can I have a chat? I thought, what's this about? He sent me a text. Can I have a chat? He said, nothing bad. <laughs> what was it going to be? Um, and then he said, oh, we've written a Christmas special and we want to do it in, I don't know, a few months or something. I said, what? I came off the phone. I said to my wife, I said, you are not going to believe this because I always thought I'd have had a bit of an inkling, you know, somehow they kept it so secret. Um, but no, as far as I'm aware, no plans. Well, you wouldn't tell me anyway. That's fancy. Uh, well, no, I wouldn't. But, but, but if they'd asked me not to, of course not, but I can, I can look you in the eye over this uh, link and I can say with utter honesty, hand on my heart, there are no plans that I am aware of. So Aylesbury Waterside Theatre, 16th of October. Just another little summary of why yeah, they should come and see you. <laughs> well, because uh, I'd like to see them and because I'm enjoying doing this show. It's an eight-piece band. It's the story of my life through the musical parts of it. So doing school musicals with Ruth Jones. We met at school at Porthcall Comp and we did Guys and Dolls and Carousel. And then uh, off I went to drama school and I'm doing bits and bobs there. Then I, I come out, I'm in Gavin and Stacey's. We do Islands in the Stream. And I, I talk about some of the big people I've sung with on stage because I, people probably don't know, but I did, a, I did a big ITV special with Neil Diamond that culminated in me coming on at the Palladium with him. And we did Song Sung Blue together. And that's pretty intimidating. You know, I played the blooming guitar on that one, much against my better judgment. And uh, then singing with Tom Jones. I've done that a few times now, but the one I talk about in the show is when we, we sang together at the Wembley Arena for Children in Need. And I just talk about how, you know, if anyone ever asks you, gives you the opportunity to sing with Tom, say no, because, you know, you, 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 you can't win. You, you know, you're with a force of nature. So I tell those stories and there's, there's all the usual impressions and, talking to the audience and this, that, and the other. It's just a fun night at the theatre. 